I think if you saw these guys go by on asphalt, you'd be stunned by how powerful they are. But when they're pounding these cobbles flat on top of that, it's, it's undescribable. The crew just fucked. Waar, hè? En naar Roesler voor de koers. Voor Wout van Haar. Ah, van Lot. Ah, ja, moet ik zeggen. Van Lot. Hij heeft een kooi. Oké, maar van hoe? Ik zo zoveel loop. Het is een enorm verschil. Dat loopt. Je kunt hem in je bochten pakken. Ik weet dat iedereen een foto met je wil. It's the first race in Belgium, so I have to take pictures with the family. He's doing well, eh? I think he's doing well. <laughs> in Belgium, we say, that's not a good one. What's that? That's not a good He's not normal, that's what he's saying. <laughs> he's improving, he's improving for the moment, winning in Coppa Bartali. He's a guy, a perfect example of how we want to lift up the, the young talents. We're going to do a quick radio test with our warriors. Yeno, are you ready? Se grande. Cedrico. No, bro. Ready, bro. Victor, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, 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 check. Se grande. Seba moche, dime. Ready. Alec, you hear me? I hear you. Perfetto. En brekken van moer. Hello, hello, hello. The only one we still missing is Pasqual Incorn. Hallo. Hallo, mijn broer is positief. This is just a t-shirt of what you can expect from your Sunday. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you're sure that I'm riding Sunday? <laughs> I hope so. It was tough, isn't it? Yeah, it was tough. I, I know my positioning is good. It's, it's a tough race and you have to sprint uh, to every corner, to every climb. When you ride Flanders, it's also 80k extra. Your family is still going to be here supporting you and stuff, right? Yeah, of course. My family is always there to support me. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Always a key point in the race is oh, the quarmoms. You do it three times. The first time, you start the nervosity and the second time everybody's dead and who passes the last time and you can still watch from your two eyes and you're not like this normally wins the race for me this is a home road but once you pass the 200k mark it's the legs that speak but you need to be sure you're not eliminated before the 200k mark and that's what we're going to recontinue Because the first time you pass the Quarmont, it's like okay, everything easy. Second time, crazy. Very important, very crazy. And the third time, everybody's drunk. 
day. <laughs> They're cheering like crazy. It's an amazing atmosphere. One day of the year. It's like an extra holiday, a double holiday. Like in none other place in the world, eh? Never. Never. <laughs> Hard to follow them, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Victor, eh? Campenar, eh? Campenar. It's good, eh? Test. Big passion here in Belgium, eh? Cycling. Yes. But I'm Basque. Basque country. Me da lo to. Apa Campenar. Sí que va polita, eh? Ahí. Vea. Come on in. <laughs> Once we decided that it was just going to be too insane to try to get on the Eau de Quermon or the Koppenberg, right? It's just going to be tens of thousands of people. We decided two things. One, we wanted to see it in a couple of places, right, without it being a zoo. And then the big screen, right? We want to be able to follow the race when they're not going by. And I just think this is like the best of both worlds. This looks like a great plan. Yeah. But... Seems like it. The, the two key words in this trip, the whole trip, cycling or not, are adaptability and serendipity. So you got to be adaptive and you got to be open to something really good happening to you right out of the blue. And so far, it's been happening in spades. going to push as hard as you can reckon. Even harder and longer probably. <laughs> Confident that the guys did what they could today, so um, that's cycling. This is what happens after the race. I mean, it's a, it's a huge production. There are hundreds of normal work-a-day guys working all over the county right now, taking down all the stuff that they set up so that they could run the race safely. You got the guys with the sides and the guys with the barriers and the guys with the tents and the police who are shutting down the right road and then all the team cars and the press and the videographers and you know it's like everybody in the whole region has had something to do with the race and I think that's part of why they feel so proud of it it's not something that somebody else is putting on it's something that the community is putting on so whatever was happening here was likely to stick and we knew it and that's why we were here and they didn't disappoint they came flying up these cobbles like madmen some people in the front some people chasing some people desperately trying to get on you could feel the desperateness you could feel the fatigue but they, it was right there in front of you like you could you could feel it it's like they're not touching the ground it's like they're floating over the cobbles and i've heard that I've heard that phrase before, that you want to put it in a big gear and really power it over the cobbles. Well, I haven't been able to figure out how to do it all week, but these guys do it. After you come to the race, you got to find your way home. <laughs> 